the title of my talk is physical properties of nanocrystalline TiO2 thin films prepared by thermal evaporation. This talk is being presented in the International Conference on Advances in Functional Materials 2021. Introduction. Metal oxides are crystalline solids that contain a metal cation and an oxide anion. They typically react with water to form bases or with acids to form salts. Here, M stands for the group two metal. Titanium dioxide has received much research attention because of its multiple applications such as dye-sensitized solar cells, quantum dot-sensitized solar cells, photocleavage of water, photocatalysis, and sensors. Titanium dioxide thin films have got special applications in protective anti-reflection coatings as well. It has got an excellent chemical stability over a wide pH range and in a large number of solvents. PiO2 exists in three major crystalline phases and an amorphous phase. Anatase phase, rutile, and brookite. The rutile phase is thermodynamically stable with direct band gap, while the anatase phase is metastable with indirect band gap. The anatase phase has higher photocatalytic activity, while the photocatalytic properties of brookite phase have not been much studied until recently because the pure Brookite phase without rutile or anatase phase is rather difficult to prepare. Both anatase and brookite are metastable phases and under suitable conditions can be converted to rutile, which has comparatively lower photocatalytic activity. TiO2 thin films formed at low temperatures are usually amorphous. In the present work, nanocrystalline TiO2 thin films have been produced by thermal evaporation technique and their structural as well as optical properties were studied. The main highlights of this work is preparation of TiO2 with thermal evaporation technique, which is challenging because of the very high sublimation point required to evaporate TiO2 powder, which is of the order of melting point of most of the commercially available boats and has found countably very few literature by this technique. Low thickness of the film was preferred for the possibility of obtaining nanostructure TiO2 films. The outline of my talk is synthesis of TiO2 thin films, structural analysis, morphological studies, optical characterization, PL studies, and I can, will conclude the results. Synthesis of TiO2 thin films. TiO2 thin films were deposited by thermal evaporation technique at 400 degrees centigrade using thin high vac coating unit at around 10 power minus 5 par base pressure. The substrate to source to substrate distance has been kept at approximately 14 centimeters. Here, the TiO2 powders with very fine uniform grains were used as the source material, which has 25 nanometer size. A structural analysis. Figure 1A shows the XRD analysis of TiO2 thin film prepared at 400 degrees centigrade. The, here, it shows the signatures of uh, the TiO2 thin film with two peaks only, whereas the source material, TiO2 powder, which has these mixed phases as well. The table one estimates, uh, gives the estimation of uh, interplanar distance, crystallite size, dislocation density, and microstrain. Morphological analysis. A FECM image of TiO2 thin film prepared at 400 degrees centigrade is demonstrated here. 
it displays uniform distribution of identical grains throughout the image. The average grain size of the pseudo spherical shaped particles is estimated as 22 plus or minus 2 nanometers. Optical analysis. The optical transmission shows significant transmission in the visible range and NIR range region from 65 to 85 percent. The absence of op oscillations observed in the spectrum is an indication that the film is quite thin. The refractive index N of the films are almost constant showing high refractive index, about 2.2 in the wavelength range, 425 nanometers to 1600 nanometers as shown in the figure. This slide shows the Taux plot of TiO2 thin films grown at 400 degrees centigrade. Figure 3C shows the direct transition and D shows the indirect transition. The optical band gap for the direct transition is 3.39 electron volts, while that of indirect transition is 3.2 electron volts. The rotile phase of TiO2 is reported to have a direct band gap with EG 3 electron volts, while the anatase phase is reported indirect band gap of EG 3.2 electron volts. The slight increase in the band gap value is attributed to the nanocrystalline group of TiO2. Band gap values of bulk and nanomaterials can be related using the effective mass approximation and hyperbolic model by the formulae one and two given here. PL analysis, photoluminescence analysis. The first broad peak between 366 to 367 nanometers corresponds to the direct and indirect recombination between electrons in the conduction band and holes in the valence band. These values correspond to 3.31 and 3.39 electrons. However, the relative intensities depend on the excitation intensity that other prominent bands are marked in the diagram. Now I will conclude the, con the results. Nanocrystalline TaO2 thin films were successfully grown by thermal evaporation on BSG glass substrates borosilicate glass substrates. XRD patterns reveal a mixture of anatase and rotile phases and the origin of the mixed phase is identified as the source material itself. The SPSCM image of the TiO2 films exhibit high quality nanocrystalline structure with uniformly distributed identical grains with 22 nanometers grain sizes. The film showed significant transmission in the entire spectrum slowly increasing from the visible side to the NIR side from 45% to 85% of transmission. Thickness of the film was estimated as 92 nanometers. The refractive index of the sample displayed fast decrease in the UV region and a very slow decrease in the visible and IR region. Transmission data also confirmed the nanocrystalline growth of the film. PL spectra exhibited many luminescence peaks and also confirmed the band gap observations obtained from the transmission spectrum. I acknowledge the, my co-researchers. M. Aslam Mantrimal is my PhD student. Iman A. al Ghamdi and A. M. al Lefiri are my co-researchers, colleagues. Thank you for your attention.